Dear students of class 1, I am Mrs. Neha Makkar and in this video we are going to study about prepositions. Students, prepositions are also known as position words. Prepositions tell us about the position or location or the relation of one object with another object in the sentence. In simple words, we can say that it tells us where the person, place, animal or thing is. Like for example, in the first sentence, it is telling, the word on is telling the position of the man. Where is the man sitting? So it is telling the position of the man and the man is sitting on the horse. So it is telling us the relationship between two words or it is telling us the relationship between two nouns. Let us have a look at the second sentence. He is sitting on it. So again the word on which is the preposition. It is telling the position of one word with another. Here it is telling the position of the pronoun he with it. So, it is telling that he is sitting on it. So, it is the word on is telling the position of one word with another word in the sentence. Now, students, the prepositions that we are going to study today in our today's video are on, in, under and near. As I told you that they are also known as position words. Why position words, children? Because they tell the position, the location or the relationship of one word with another word in the sentence. It can be the noun also and it can be the pronoun also. Like for example, the book is kept on the table. So where is the book kept? It is kept on the table. So it is telling the position, the location of the book or in simple words, where is the book kept? So students, I will help you to understand this with the help of this example. So I have taken an object ball. In one picture, the first picture, you can see the ball is kept inside the box. In the second picture, it is kept on the table. In the third picture, it is kept under the table. And in the fourth and the last picture, the ball is kept near the table. So, it is telling where the ball is. It is telling about the position of the ball, whether it's inside, on the table, under the table or near the table. So, that is why preposition are known as position words because they tell us the position of the object in the sentence. Now, this boy is sitting in the box. This girl is also sitting in the box. This bird is also sitting in the box. So, the preposition in, it is telling the position of the girl, boy and the bird that it is inside the box or it is in the box. Now, let us have a look at this apple. This apple is kept on the table. This girl is also standing on the podium. And this ball is also kept on the box. So students, again the word on is telling us the position of all these th three things. Now let us study with another example. Now we are going to study the preposition under. So this man is sitting under the tree. This boy is also hiding under the box. So students, now let us have a look with on another example that is near. So this girl, this cat is standing near the tree but the boy is standing far away from the tree. This boy is sitting near the ball and the big puppy is standing near the tree and the small puppy is standing far away from the tree. So again, 
द वर्ड नियर इज टेलिंग अस वेर द पपी इज स्टैंडिंग और वेर द नाउन इज स्टैंडिंग सो इट इज टेलिंग अस अबाउट द पोजिशन और लोकेशन ऑफ दैट ऑब्जेक्ट और थिंग नाउ लेट अस रिवाइज चिल्ड्रन सो द प्रपोजिशन दैट वी स्टडीड टूडे इन द फर्स्ट पिक्चर द वॉज इज स्केप्ड ऑन द टेबल द बॉक्स इज द बॉल इज केप्ड इन साइड और इन द बॉक्स द कैट इज स्टैंडिंग अंडर द टेबल एंड द स्कूटर इज स्टैंडिंग नियर द हाउस सो दीज ऑल फोर वर्ड्स दे आर टेलिंग एज द पोजिशन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट एंड हेंस प्रपोजिशन आर कॉल्ड एज पोजिशन वर्ड्स Thank you children